So once again, I want to make sure that you're, you feel welcome and everyone's connected and I don't see anyone else joining in. So I'm just going to go ahead and go forward. The topic of today's webinar is going to be about using Google Keep. And this is a webinar in a series. So it's one in a series of five. And so throughout the rest of the spring, I'll be coming to you um, once or twice a month just to bring you a free technology integration webinar on a Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. And on the screen, you'll see some of the topics that I'll be covering this spring. They all have a tech integration theme. Some of them are related specifically to Google resources and strategies and others are going to be a little bit different but they all have a technology integration theme and you can register in advance for reminders and uh, other information about the webinars in go sign me up again here's the link to the session resources for today it's also in the chat box And I want to share the agenda for today and also the, the learning goals for this little webcast. During this time, I want to share with you all that I know about Google Keep. I don't consider myself to be the expert, but I really have found that Google Keep is um, a really wonderful tool and I want to share that with you. I want to talk about some of the benefits of digital note taking, how to create notes in Google Keep how to begin organizing and kind of customizing Google Keep, and then talk about collaboration, setting reminders, and then share some ideas with you about using Google Keep, just a few. So now, what is Google Keep? Now, Google Keep is an app within G Suite that was released relatively recently, just a few years ago. It's a totally free note-taking tool. Google Keep started out as a standalone application within um, Google's suite of apps. And eventually, so many people started using Google Keep that they made it a part of their core of their program. So now Google uh, Keep is fully integrated with Google Drive. It's integrated with Google Docs. It's also integrated with Google Slides as well. So that means that Google Keep is now available anywhere you can access inter internet. And then there's also some mobile apps that you can uh, get for iOS, if you have an iPhone, or Android as well. And there's some benefits to using the mobile um, version of Google Keep. So now, why use Google Keep? What's the, the rationale behind using a tool like this? And basically, as Educators, we're all busy. Every one of us has a lot of time demands and there's a real need for us to stay organized. Losing information is really a problem. We need to collaborate and communicate with others. There's a need for us to use tools that are simple, easy to use, and elegant. And so um, I've added in the image of the computer screen with the sticky notes on it because yes, at once upon a time, that was me. I did have my sticky notes everywhere and I had an organizational system for my sticky notes. And there were even times when I color coded my sticky notes and a lot of different other things that I tried to do to keep them all organized. But no matter what I would do, I would always eventually find that um, some sticky notes would come up missing or I would be looking for a piece of information uh, in a meeting or in a venue or at a presentation when I wouldn't have that information. So I started out using um, a couple of the apps that you may uh, recognize on the screen. I think I started out as an Evernote user. That's the green um, icon with the elephant on it. And Evernote was, was really good for a good while. I switched over to Microsoft OneNote after using um, Evernote for a few years and finding that Evernote was um, moving away from a free model to a premium model. And so I was looking for something else that I could use that I didn't have to um, invest so much money in. So I started using Microsoft OneNote, which is a really wonderful and elegant product, really powerful. And you can store a ton of information in um, Microsoft OneNote. I would say that Microsoft OneNote has some really, really powerful integrations going for it. So I still use Microsoft OneNote up to a point, but I have to admit that Google Keep 
is doing a wonderful job. Google's doing a great job integrating Google Keep and um, keeping those integrations coming. So I have to say that Google Keep is quickly becoming one of my go-to uh, tools that I use each day. Now, digital notes. Um, I definitely don't want to get into the debate about handwriting versus digital notes because personally, I think there's a reason and there are times when you want to do both. I do write notes. I do have notebooks. I do have a journal that I keep notes in and I write things in, using my handwriting and I draw things when I'm trying to make sense of ideas. When you see me with my journal in my hand, if I'm telling you a secret, when you see me with my journal in my hand, it means that I'm thinking a lot about some ideas that I have and I'm sketching something out or I'm jotting down some things that I'm thinking about. I'm probably not going to hold on to that information for a really long time. I'm just doing a lot of thinking and I'm trying to make sense of some ideas. So I do write and draw. But I think digital notes are really important to have when you have massive amounts of information to deal with. And you do need to keep up with the information for a long time. So when I need to track and remember things, not necessarily to try to make sense of it, it's just a massive amount of information, need to keep up with it, need to organize it, um, then that's when I think it really makes sense to pick one digital tool and, and use it. And I think Google Keep is so um, elegant and simple, you'll begin to see why hopefully during this webcast, um, I started using Google Keep. So let's talk about getting more organized with Google Keep. So first of all, if you haven't used Keep before, you're going to want to sign into Google Chrome with your Google account. Okay, I'm going to use my district account during this webcast. You could use a personal account if you prefer. Keep is uh, located at keep.google.com or you can use the app launcher. So if you're following along with me, you'll want to go ahead and open Chrome and go to Google Keep. You're going to see me um, maybe switch back and forth between the live app and my slides at this point. And so here's Google Keep, the live program. Keep.google.com. And you'll notice that uh, what you notice immediately about Google Keep is that I have here what looks like a bulletin board with the sticky notes. And so I can tell you that once upon a time, my desk looked like this Google Keep page. I had all of my sticky notes and to-do notes and to-do lists and business cards and, and other notes and information, all of them uh, taped or attached or stuck to the top of my desk or my um, computer workstation. And now I keep all of this information and a whole lot more inside of Google Keep. Now, it's super, super simple to get started taking notes in Google Keep. The benefits are immediate because anything you type inside of Google Keep starts syncing to the cloud immediately, and you can access it from any workstation or mobile device where you are connected to the internet. So you'll see on the little GIF, you just go to the take a note section and start typing a note. It's really elegant, like I said, very simple. Click off to the side, and you now have a new note. Now, you can also create to-do lists or even checklists by selecting checkbox options inside of a note. So I'll start a new note. And then I can uh, go over um, and if you go down to the three dots that are at the end, you can do things like you can add a label to your notes, add a drawing to your notes, or you can show checkboxes. And so when you select the check uh, uh, checkboxes item, you can start creating lists.
and you can continue on creating uh, list items, uh, as many of those list items as you want to create a checklist or a to-do list inside of Google Keep. So if you're creating um, to-do lists by hand right now, I can um, honestly say that it's, it's one of the quickest and easiest ways to begin creating to-do lists that, I've, that I've, I've come across. And then as you notice, as you complete items, um, Keep just crosses them out for you, checks them off in the checkbox. So really efficient. Um, it's a great way to keep up with the things that you have to do. And you could even introduce this to your students if you're in the classroom. Now, another great feature of Google Keep are reminders. And so I'm going to go to another reminder. Or I'll go to a note, actually. I'll open the note that I have. And you'll see that I've got, a, I've got an image in this note. Um, a hyperlink inside this node as well. And I'm going to go all the way to the left and you'll see a little alarm bell and it says remind me. So one of the cool things that Google Keep does is that it will remind you about a note that you took and it will remind you, remind you based upon a time and date or a location. So you can pick a time and a date when Google Keep will remind you or send you a reminder about this note. And so on February 2nd at 6.30, I'll get a reminder to um, go to this note and take care of the things that are inside of it. Or Google Keep will also set up reminders for you that are based on locations. So if you have um, items that you need to buy, things that you need to remember to do, calls you need to remember to make, um, anything of that nature, you can go in and you can set up a reminder based on a location as well. So when I was in the classroom, I used to often stop to buy pencils for students. So it would have been awesome to have um, Google Keep at that time when I could just put in, when if, I, if I'm passing by a Walmart Super Center on college, to stop and pick up more pencils. So another great feature within Google Keep, and I'm going to jump along here in the slideshow, is that you can create voice notes. So at the moment, you need the Apple or the Android app. So you need to go with the mobile app if you're going to be creating voice notes. But it is possible to create voice notes in Keep. It's fantastic for creating ideas or recording ideas or um, sharing ideas with other people when you're on the go. Basically, you just open the uh, Keep uh, app and then select the, um, the voice recording option. Hopefully, that's going to become native to the desktop app as well sometime in the near future. Another great feature inside of Google Keep is the ability to add images. So you can add images. to any note, you can start off a note by adding images, or you can add images to an existing note. And so if visual cl uh, clues and cues help to keep you on task, or if that helps you to um, remember things. So here's a note that, I'm, that I did. You can add an image to it. Or you can start off a note with an image. So it's really easy, really straightforward. All right, there go my notes all syncing up. So 
Once you've known how to create notes, you know how to add images, you can create reminders, you know how to create to-do lists, you're going to want to add collaboration into the mix. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, again, Keep is fully integrated with G Suite and all the other apps. So you get all the great collaboration that comes along with Google. So if I want to share a note that I just created with someone, I can go over to the collaborator icon and then type in the email of someone to share with. Hit save. And then that person becomes a collaborator in this note. And so now that person and I can edit this note together or create a to-do list within this note and take care of things um, together. But there's still many, many other wonderful things that you can do inside of Google Keep. So I'm going to share some tips and tricks at this point. And one tip that I would share is that you can color code Google Keep notes. So rather than purchasing all of all those different expensive colored sticky notes, you could switch to Google Keep and then use the color palette that's built into Keep. to develop a scheme for your, your notes. And it's just as simple as mousing over the, the little palette that you see in the, um, the note uh, at the bottom, right in the center. Another cool thing that you can do with Google Keep and another reason that you might want to switch from your current note-taking app to Google Keep is that you can drag Google Keep notes right into a presentation. So here we are. We're in um, this presentation for today. And I'm going to make things a little bit larger. You can see over on the side, I'm in Google Slides. I'm going to go to the side. Notice here's my calendar integrated. Here's Google Keep. Here's tasks. I'm going to go to Google Keep. I can open Google Keep, select a note, and then drag and drop the contents of that note right into the application that I'm in, which is slides. Now, the, the beauty of this is that I don't have to switch back and forth between tabs or open up additional um, apps or anything else to work um, in an integrated way. And that's just a 10 times more efficient than when you have to keep switching tabs to copy and paste information. So you could um, take notes in Google Keep and then begin to build out a Google slide deck from your notes that you've taken within Google Keep. And I think that's really, really um, super elegant. In the past, um, I would build out presentations using physical sticky notes, but I have to say that I'm really um, taking more time, I'm spending more time building out presentations with Google Keep notes, and then I'm dragging those into slide decks. All right, another elegant feature of Google Keep is the ability to turn on website previews. So if you are collecting web links in Google Keep Notes, which can be a great thing to do for meetings, for presentations, for lesson plans, is that if you go to your Google Keep settings, and select settings. 
you'll see that you have the ability to customize the application so that it works really well for you. For example, you can add new notes to the bottom of the page. I prefer my new notes coming in at the top, so I leave that unchecked. You can also decide what to do with notes once you've checked um, them off. You can move those to the bottom. I like when I uh, check a note, after I've done something or after I've completed something to move that to the bottom, but you have the ability to change that. You can also change your reminder defaults. Turn on sharing or turn sharing off if you plan to use notes just for yourself. And there's one more option and that's to display link previews. And I'll turn that on and show you what that looks like. So what happens is that if I have a website, for example, um, this one is about designing a book cover, I get an actual preview of the website itself. So I have my link, a website, I've bookmarked this website, and then I also have um, a preview as well. So Google Keep Settings allow you to customize the app a little bit more. And I also want to mention that if you're into shortcuts, there are quite a few shortcuts as well. So that you can work really quickly within Google Keep. And I, post those, I posted those on the slide so that if you want to explore the shortcuts for getting things done really quickly, um, you can play around with those. I'm hoping that by now you're seeing that Google Keep is such an easy and um, readily available way to begin to take notes and to save information that you're actually, if you're not already using it, you're considering um, moving from your paper notebooks or from the app that you're using right now and giving it a try for some of your um, upcoming tasks and roles. Now there's two Chrome extensions for Google Keep that I really, really enjoy, and I want to share those with you as well. The first one is the Save to Google Keep Chrome extension. What this Chrome extension does is that it adds the capability to your Chrome browser because that, that's what extensions do. They extend your Chrome browser. They make your Chrome browser more powerful and they add features to the Chrome browser that, that it didn't have before. So the Google Keep Chrome extension allows you to save any link that you come across on the web to Google Keep as a node. So it's in the, the Chrome Web Store. The link's on the slide. You can see that I already have it added in. I'm going to enable it. All right, everything's turned on. And then I'm going to browse to a site. Here I am in Go Sign Me Up, and I'm going to use Google Keep. So here we go. I'm going to take a note. And as you can see, it's saving this right here in Google Keep for me. And if I go to the little uh, square at the bottom right, I can open it up in Google Keep. Okay. So I think that is a really useful extension that goes along with Google Keep, makes it more powerful. And the other one that I really enjoy is called Category Tabs for Google Keep. Now, this extension is awesome because it will help you to, if you're using the color categories in Google Keep and you're um, changing the colors of your Google Keep notes and you develop a system, category tabs will help you refine that even further. The link's on the slide. And we'll go into the Chrome Web Store and I'll show you what it's like to add that extension. So we'll add to Chrome.
and it's going to ask me to reload my Google Keep, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now I have this set of um, colors across the top of my page in Keep. And so at any given time, I can hit a color and it'll show me, it sorts my notes for me automatically and it sorts them to that color. So if you use a color scheme and you develop um, a set of rules around um, the different notes that you create and how you want to sort them out, um, category tabs for Google Keep will go ahead and sort those notes for you. The last thing that I want to share with you are just a few ideas about how to use Keep and then I want to open things up for questions or for your thoughts and tell me what you think about Google Keep. All right, so um, one of the ways that you can use Google Keep, whether you're a teacher or an administrator, is that you can use Keep to take conference notes or all to keep up with all of the ideas that you gather in Summer PD or in PD. You can bookmark useful websites to visit later. Um, there's so many websites out there, so many lesson plan sites, so many idea sites um, that it's impossible to keep up with them even when you create bookmarks in the Chrome browser. So you could think about using Google Keep to um, and develop a category around bookmarking websites. You could also record Google Keep notes for students using the mobile app. And really one of the best places for you to get ideas about how to use Google Keep is the Google Keep website itself. And I will take you to that link. All right, so Google Keep has its own site within Google, and there are some really great ideas here. Um, using Google Keep to keep up with gift ideas, saving photographs, tips on using the mobile app, tips for sharing, and a whole lot more. So like I've said before, Keep is, is fast becoming one of my um, favorite tools. And so at this point, I'm going to turn things over and allow you to tell me what you think or to ask any questions that you have. All right, I see one um, message coming in. The category tabs for Google is blocked um, on, on my end. So it wasn't blocked here when I installed it just a, a few seconds ago. You may have tried to just install it. That's a good point. What I'm going to do is um, I'll put in the help desk after the webinar and ask them to, um, to unblock category tabs for teachers because it sure is a lot better than spending a ton of money on, um, on all the different sticky notes and then spending the time to, to sort all of your, your color coded sticky notes the way that I used to. All right, any, any other thoughts? What do you all think about Google Keep? Um, I have a message coming in from uh, Ms. Deidre Douglas at Progress Elementary. She says that she likes using Keep for library websites and also for um, ideas for her makerspace in her library. So Deidre Douglas is one of our awesome school technology facilitators and one of our premier librarians here in the district. And so I can't wait to um, come by and visit uh, Deidre and see that makerspace.
Yes, I, I like the, um, the the text features as well. Um, I didn't have a, the uh, ability to connect to show you the, the text uh, rendering feature on this particular webinar, but I think what I may do is I may follow this webinar up with, uh, with another one and, uh, and show you how that's going to work. The to-do list as well, that's another great, great feature. I like creating um, to-do lists in here as well. All right, any questions? Okay, well, thank you so much for joining in. Again, this is our um, first Webinar Wednesday webcast for 2019. I plan to do four more and then possibly add some more after um, March, depending on um, how, uh, how well these are received and how many um, requests I get to do these. This is something that um, teachers were requesting a lot of information about Google Keep. So I thought um, as long as I get requests about different tools and ways to use different tools, I'll keep these webcasts coming. So I want to thank you for joining in. And um, I will be around if you have any questions. Thank you.